Sheikh Hasina Wajed, the current Prime Minister of Bangladesh, carries a legacy interwoven with the birth of her nation. Born on September 28, 1947 in Tongipara, her life has been deeply intertwined with the political landscape of Bangladesh from her earliest days. My daughter Hasina, growing up in the shadow of our struggle, has always shown a keen sense of justice and patriotism. Her father, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, is revered as the father of the nation, the driving force behind Bangladesh's independence from Pakistan in 1971. Growing up in the shadow of such a towering figure profoundly shaped Hasina's worldview and set her on a course toward a life in politics. From a young age, I saw the sacrifices made, the challenges overcome, and the ultimate triumph of our nation yearning to be free. These formative experiences instilled in Hasina a deep sense of patriotism and a commitment to social justice that would guide her throughout her life. However, her childhood was also marked by periods of fear and uncertainty as her father faced imprisonment for his political beliefs. I learned early on that the pursuit of freedom and democracy often came at a steep price, and I was prepared to pay it. These early encounters with the harsh realities of political oppression only strengthened Hasina's resolve to fight for a more just and equitable society. Sheikh Hasina's education played a crucial role in shaping her intellectual and political development. She attended the University of Dhaka, the premier institution of higher learning in Bangladesh. It was during my time at the university that I began to hone my political skills and emerge as a leader in my own right. The university, a hotbed of political activism, provided fertile ground for Hasina's burgeoning leadership qualities to flourish. She became actively involved in student politics, joining the Chhatra League, the student wing of her father's Awami League party. The Chhatra League provided me with a platform to voice my opinions and mobilize my peers around issues I cared about deeply. As a student leader, Hasina demonstrated a natural ability to connect with her peers and inspire them to action. She was known for her charisma, her sharp intellect, and her unwavering commitment to the principles of democracy and social equality. These experiences were invaluable, providing me with the skills and experience I needed to navigate the complex world of Bangladeshi politics. As she completed her studies and prepared to enter the larger political arena, it was clear that Sheikh Hasina was a rising star in the Awami League, poised to carry on the legacy of her father and lead Bangladesh into a new era. Tragedy struck Bangladesh and irrevocably altered the course of Sheikh Hasina's life on August 15, 1975. A group of disgruntled army officers stormed the presidential residence, assassinating Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, along with most of his family. My sister Rahana and I were abroad at the time, a twist of fate that spared our lives. This horrific event, a brutal coup d'etat, plunged Bangladesh into a period of political turmoil and plunged Hasina into mourning and exile. Forced to flee her homeland, Hasina sought refuge in India, where she spent the next six years living in exile. Despite the immense personal tragedy and the challenges of living in exile, I refused to be silenced. She became a vocal critic of the military regime, using international platforms to denounce human rights abuses and advocate for the restoration of democracy in Bangladesh. Her unwavering commitment to her father's vision and her courage in the face of adversity made her a symbol of hope for millions of Bangladeshis yearning for a return to democratic rule. In 1981, I was allowed to return to Bangladesh. The country I returned to was vastly different from the one I had left behind. Yet, her return marked a pivotal moment in Bangladesh's history. The people welcomed her with open arms, seeing in her the spirit of her father and the promise of a return to the democratic ideals he had fought so hard to achieve. Upon her return to Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina was elected president of the Awami League, a testament to the enduring legacy of her father and the faith the people placed in her leadership. It was a daunting task, rebuilding a party that had been decimated by the coup and navigating the treacherous waters of Bangladeshi politics. The political climate in Bangladesh during the 1980s was fraught with instability and characterized by a struggle for power between the Awami League and the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, 
BNP, led by Khalid Azir, the widow of Ziaur Rahman, the founder of the BNP. This period saw a revolving door of military-backed governments, coups and counter-coups, as the two main political forces vied for control. Throughout this tumultuous period, Hasina remained a vocal advocate for democracy and human rights, leading protests against military rule and demanding free and fair elections. My unwavering stance and ability to mobilize the masses made me a formidable force in Bangladeshi politics. In 1991, after years of struggle, Bangladesh finally held its first free and fair elections since independence. While the Awami League did not win the election, it marked a significant victory for democracy in Bangladesh and a turning point in Hasina's political career. I had proven myself to be a shrewd political operator, capable of uniting the opposition and challenging the status quo. Her time as Prime Minister was about to begin. Under Sheikh Hasina's leadership, Bangladesh has seen significant economic growth and social reforms. Indeed, her government has focused on infrastructure development, increasing literacy rates and improving health care services. These efforts have not only boosted the economy, but also improved the quality of life for many Bangladeshis. Yes, and the emphasis on social reforms has led to better opportunities for education and employment, especially for women. Her policies have been instrumental in transforming Bangladesh into a middle-income country. Absolutely, it's a testament to her vision and determination. Sheikh Hasina's tenure has also been marked by significant strides in women's empowerment and social advancement. Her initiatives have empowered women at all levels of society, from grassroots to government positions. Programs aimed at reducing gender disparity have shown positive results, making Bangladesh a model for other developing nations. Yes, and the focus on education and vocational training has opened new avenues for women, allowing them to contribute more effectively to the economy. These advancements reflect Sheikh Hasina's commitment to creating an inclusive and progressive society. It's clear that her leadership has paved the way for a brighter future for all Bangladeshis. Sheikh Hasina's tenure has not been without its share of controversies. Critics often point to allegations of authoritarianism and suppression of dissent. Despite significant economic growth and development, her leadership has faced international scrutiny. Human rights organizations have raised concerns over freedom of speech and political freedoms in Bangladesh. These criticisms, while serious, are often balanced by her supporters who argue that her strong leadership is necessary for the country's stability and progress. We are tired of the corruption and lack of transparency. The people of Bangladesh deserve better. Recent years have seen a surge in political unrest, with citizens taking to the streets demanding change. The international community is watching closely. There are growing calls for fair elections and a more transparent government. We want a government that listens to its people, that respects our rights and freedoms. The unrest signifies a critical juncture in Bangladesh's political landscape, with the potential for significant change on the horizon. Regardless of the controversies, Sheikh Hasina's impact on Bangladesh is undeniable. She has been a pivotal figure in the country's modern history. Her leadership has seen Bangladesh achieve remarkable economic growth, improved infrastructure, and advancements in education and healthcare. History will likely remember her as a leader who, despite facing numerous challenges, played a crucial role in shaping the nation's trajectory. As Bangladesh stands at a crossroads, the decisions made in the coming years will be critical. The nation faces significant challenges, but with these challenges come opportunities for transformation and growth. The eyes of the world are on Bangladesh. The international community is hopeful for a future that embraces democratic values and human rights. The journey ahead is uncertain, but the resilience and determination of the Bangladeshi people will undoubtedly shape the country's future.